Michigan's friend, only the team has these. Are you a sneaker guy? Not really a sneaker guy. What? Are you a sneaker guy? Are you a sneaker guy? Yeah. Uh, I was, but... I was so goddamn I, I was so goddamn poor growing up yeah. that I always always used to want the fucking sneakers and the second I got money I was like bro I'm gonna wear the sneakers. I'm gonna buy the sneakers. But these are these are this is a pretty special pair of sneaks. It's not a it's a, only the Michigan State basketball team, only the players get these, only the player shoes. Oh look, it's just a bunch of cars and shit. This right here is this is what not to do. Don't do that. What's up, guy? Look at you. We gotta get some sushi, hey? Thank I'm you, Shannon. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I look so familiar. Oh my gosh. Twitter? Maybe. Yeah, totally. <laughs> What's up, boss? I'm Luca. Nice to meet you. Hey, Luca, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? Oh, Vibing, filming. What are you filming? Building in public, dude. Here, look. <laughs> this is the goat right here. So people don't know, but he was showing me love before everyone else was showing me love. So shout out Alex Tob and shout out the goblins. Give you, give you the plug in. Wait, are you like building for something? We do a building in public series. So we record us every month. We do like the podcast. It's the vlog. So it's like, hey, we want transparency. We want we want to know what you're doing. Well, I'm going to film it for you and, and, and consolidate it in a 15 minute clip. And then you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like you guys, okay, let's just film everything. Yes. Yes. Right. Our primary intention for Pudgy Penguins is how do we build Web3's first great IP company? Because I believe that for this space to really grow the way that we all want it to, we are going to have to attract the hearts and minds of everyday consumers. And I think to do that at the highest level is to create an IP that people love because it's familiar. I think today NFTs are intimidating and they're taboo. And to kind of break that barrier, you need to create something that's familiar. And I think IP is the best way to do that. A strong IP is dictated by its influence. And so we want to make the Pudgy Penguin as influential as possible. And that's kind of our focus, uh, at least for 2023. Story part. You know, you leave with great story and the brass is like all I believe the NFT is a vehicle that aligns the incentives of brand and consumer in a way that was never possible before. And it quite literally can be the greatest superpower and weapon for brand building and business building that I think the world has ever seen. But on the flip side of that, it also can be the greatest deterrent and the greatest killer. When you're doing consumer products and when you're building brands traditionally, getting your first couple thousand users is always the most difficult. It's a momentum game. And with NFTs, you jumpstart the hardest part about building a brand and building a company because you've got your first two, three, four thousand consumers, your first feedback loop, your first champions of your brand. And that is not to be underestimated. And so I think a lot of people don't really look at NFTs in that light. They look at it maybe without peeling back the layers. But I think if you peel back the layers and understand, we've never had a vehicle that's aligned the incentives of a brand and a consumer the way that owning an NFT of a company or conceptualizing a brand out of an NFT kind of creates. That allows for such active feedback. You don't have to work for it. Your community can tell you exactly what about. With Pudgy Penguins, we're going to build one of the biggest brands the world's ever seen. And I think a lot of people doubted us in the beginning and we will continue to prove people wrong and we will continue to push this space forward and be one of the leaders, not only in Web3, but in the traditional world as well. And we are still super early. Let's see if it up. Yeah. Seriously, thanks for a great day out tonight. Oh, nice. Okay, let's walk. Shout out for the, give the shout out your project for the camera. Oh, Toxic Schools Club. I appreciate it. He's showing up. You got to respect the showing up. That's all you can do in life is show up. It. I appreciate everything you got you do, man. Dude. Appreciate it all of it. Thank you, bro. Have a great day and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. I don't know what that means to you. You know what I mean? I just click. Oh, 
Let's see. So pull up your laptop and measure your check sheet. So basically we have these items right now are gonna be the ones that go live in this first run. We have a whole set of toys that are licensed that have certain exclusives to certain retailers. So right now the Dot and I are gonna check off the ones that we know are releasing in a couple of weeks. And then this white brand communicate to the people that we license the penguins from and basically say, hey, you know, your penguins going in this retailer, your penguins going in this retail. If you don't see it live, don't worry. Oh, okay. And a whole portion of the stuff that has. Do you imagine every product of these? No. Do you imagine all the guys who spent $100 plus? Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I wonder if you can send these toys. I wonder if you can put toys in. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to put merch, toys, and everything. So you can put a really big toy in your big kid ship and make toys. These are big enough to ship. A couple things. Me and you just need to completely like align and define Web3 like rollout, but like actually and like set like real times and deadlines and like real fucking how are we just gonna gun and take over Twitter for the next three months? Yep. One that's a little more easy. Um, I've been using your your like brief as my brief, so I've just been doing things. But like, I have these little documents. So like, first one, pre and I already started filling them out, or at least giving them like some sort of template. Yeah. But post and create an onboarding sheet. So like a sheet for new users coming into the Pudgy Penguins ecosystem. So like, let's say it's like, okay, I want the I want the two minute TLDR. You will make it cool and creative. But the point of the matter is, is like this this all needs to be. So how I'm envisioning it is a Discord announcement, right? Yeah. Me basically saying like, I am, this is what I promised you guys on this iterated blue. This, 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 and this. And they're basically gonna be like little hashtags, they're gonna be little channels in which like anybody can have any of these questions answered. So the first one to me is post and create an onboarding sheet. This next one is how the community can help us. So this is like, this one, I cannot, I, I honestly can own this if you want, but it's a business really easy for me. I'm, I'm pretty much halfway done with it anyway. But this one is just like, hey, when we get, when we post a video on Instagram, share it to a friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you see a pudgy penguin, like it, retweet it. When you see all of these things, there's, it, it's, it's, it's an impossible for people not to spend two minutes that you care about your bag not to spend two minutes doing these little tweaks. We might not do this for now, but I was thinking like an influencer deck, like imagine we made a template for Pudgy Penguins to go and get licensed deals. And here's your template, just replace your Pudgy. Re replace the stats. So you're saying basically like, I don't, I'm, I'm giving you a 10 page pitch deck with like all of the things about Pudgy Penguins, all of that. And all you do is replace your penguin in the deck and how you can go shop it. That's actually pretty, that's actually sick. It's pretty yeah, because it's sick. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, maybe that's something we can delegate to Kevin. Yeah. I mean, does that make sense? That would be hands out. That's probably like an email you send a second, I got a call two minutes, probably the first thing you send is be like, hey, like take all of these slides from these different decks. And like, it should be like, gifting for news, you know what I mean? Instagram views. And it's like, you know, here's a deck to go shop your fucking shit, but have some fucking deals for principal awareness. It's a pretty beggar. But that should be, it's a beggar. Like nobody could say we're not like like now that legit advice is a thesis that if the brand gets better the orders get more orders get more value it's like dude I'm making with an influencer and I can't believe they ruined look at these fucking badass cards we made and this manufacturer dude literally put fucking <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> it's just so stupid these are so badass like look I would have gave every holder this for free and now look at the like what the fuck they did. <laughs> It's fucking insane. Either I, I, that wasn't even an instruction. Dude. 